There's an old saying, there's no such thing as bad publicity. The idea being that for those who choose to be in the public eye, as long as people are talking and thinking about them, that's good. And it seems that John Silber, the recently announced candidate for governor, is proving that theory to be true. But I deeply resent those who have tried to take my good name by the false charge of racism and by suggesting that I'm opposed to immigrants. Oh, I think it's uh, in his favor, you know, uh, because it, uh, it removes him from uh, anonymity and brings him out into the open where people can uh, test his views and, and see what his views are on things. I think it's good. Well, I do think he's all right, whether he's streetwise or not, I don't know. Otherwise, I think his morals and everything are excellent. In Watertown today, among the people who knew any of the candidates for governor, John Silber, in part because of his recent comments about welfare and alcoholism, scored high in name recognition, along with political veterans Frank Bellotti and Evelyn Murphy. Do you know who's running for governor? Uh, Frank Bellotti and the guy from BU. I've forgotten his name Silber. now. Uh, Silber. Yeah. Those are the two big names. There's another woman running, too, but I'm... Not exactly sure of her name. Uh -huh. Well, I know it was the woman that was with Dukakis, and I don't know her name. Evelyn Murphy? Yeah. The names of Republican candidates for governor were even harder to recall. Um, let's see. Um, Republicans, it's Weld, and I'm not sure who the second one is. Mm -hmm. Do you know any of the Republicans? I think not. Of course, the race for governor is still young and voters still have plenty of time to match the candidates to their own concerns. I, th I think the ones that uh, don't f favor too much government uh, is uh, preferable to myself because that means lower taxes. I'm not going to vote for anyone who isn't pro-abortion. Our informal survey here proves virtually nothing, but as an indicator of who's getting attention in these early days of the race for governor, it must be heartening for John Silber to know that the negative publicity he received over the past weekend has actually made this political newcomer one of the better known candidates in the race. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.